This is question two from paper one of the 2015 National 5 SQA maths exam. We're given an inequality. We're asked to solve it. So let's do this in several different ways. First way we can do is to get rid of the brackets. We've got 11 minus 2 lots of 1 plus 3x, and that's less than 39. But before I go on, let's just have a look at 11 minus 2 times 3, for instance. You have something like that. Always multiplication is done before addition or subtraction. That's orders of the operation. Sometimes you know it as bod mass, where brackets of and divide and multiply, addition, subtraction. The divide and multiply always done before the addition and subtractions. So in this case, 11 minus 2 times 3 would be 11 minus 6, not 9 times 3. You'd never do 11 minus 2 to get 9 times 3, 27. Two different answers there. But multiplication first. So this multiplication is done first. So we leave the 11 as it is, and we think of taking away two lots of 1 and taking away two lots of the 3x. So taking away two lots of 1, taking away two lots of 3x, negative 6x. So negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 times positive 3x, that's a negative 6x. And that's less than 39. We now certainly can do 11 minus 2 to get 9. Next stage would be to balance both sides, taking 9 from the left-hand side and taking 9 from the right-hand side. It's balancing this in equation. If this thing is less than 39, then this is less than 30. Next step, dividing both sides by negative 6. Hey, this is a problem in an in equation. Um, when we divide by a negative. Now, let's just have a, a little look at the number line. We know 1 is less than 2. If we divide both sides by negative 1, then the left-hand side becomes negative 1 and the right-hand side becomes negative 2. And you know from your number line that um, negative 1 is not less than negative 2. Negative 1 is greater than negative 2. So we've swapped the inequality round. And this happens when we divide both sides by a negative number or when we multiply both sides by a negative number. So in this case, if we're dividing the left-hand side by negative 6 and dividing the right-hand side by negative 6, we must turn this inequality round. That negative 6 is cancel. We get x being greater than positive divided by negatives, negative 6 into 30 is 5. So we've got x being greater than negative 5. So that's certainly one way of doing it. You can uh, move on to the next video unless you want to see another way of doing it. So let's try another way of doing this. And this time what I'm going to do is sub Subtract 11 from both sides first. And that would give me 28. I'm now going to divide both sides by negative 2. And remember, when you divide by a negative number on both sides, the inequality gets turned round. These negative 2's cancel. We get 1 plus 3x being greater than negative 14. Let's take away 1 from both sides. Negative 14 minus 1. There's negative 14. If we take away 1, we get to negative 15. We don't get negative 13. And divide both sides by positive 3. So x is greater than negative 5. So same as last time. There's a second way of doing this question. There are other ways. Let's add negative. Let's add two lots of one plus three x to both sides. Let's take away thirty nine from both sides.
Let's divide both sides by 2. Let's take away 1 from both sides. Let's divide both sides by 3. Normally we don't write that with a number front uh, at the front. If negative 5 is less than x, then x must be greater than negative 5. In effect, reading it backwards, x is greater than negative 5. Um, and that's the same as we had before. So there's three different methods. There are others, but there's three different methods of solving this inequality.